Okay, you join me at a very special location. I'm at the uh, Toge course at Ibiza Circuit. And today I'm featuring this car. And it's actually probably the, the fourth time I actually featured this car. I shot this car probably 20 years ago, the first time. This is Nob Taniguchi's original red S15. It was built in collaboration with T&E and it had the Vertex line kit. And then uh, engine was done by HKS, running at Yokohama wheels and tires and uh, Project New Brakes. Basically, Andy from Power Vehicles has uh, thrown me the keys to this car before it gets shipped out to the States to its new owner, JDM Supreme, who's been collecting some of the best and most memorable legendary cars that Japan has ever churned out. What makes this car really special is that it was an amazing collaboration with Japan's probably most notorious, famous drifter, Nob Taniguchi, and companies like HKS and T&E. And they created possibly what was one of the best street cars based on the S15 chassis. And that over the years kind of progressed. The engine has been redone multiple times, kind of showcasing products from HKS and other companies. And uh, it ended up being sold off to one of uh, Nob's friends who's a professional golfer. And uh, he let the car go and Andy was quick enough to get in there and snatch it up so that the owner can enjoy and add it to his uh, amazing collection. So the, the car actually runs uh, one of my favorite uh, aero kits for the S15 and it was a TNE Vertex Lang. Love the bumper. It's a bit more sedate compared to their wide body creations, but uh, what made this car special at one point is that it actually had Lamborghini type doors, so the doors that kind of went up and they still have the goal wing system uh, kind of highlighted there. That's gone, so it's gone back to kind of regular opening. It rides on Yokohama Model T6s and shot in Yokohama Niovas, running uh, Project Mu brakes all around for stopping power. And the interior is a very special place to be. It's, it's done with a lot of taste. Basically, all the stock upholstery has been removed and it's been replaced uh, with bride fabric. And it's got some bride seats. And the lower part of the dashboard has been kind of painted in a glossy metallic black to kind of highlight the additions like the navigation unit and uh, the Nismo shifter here. It's got Nismo dials on the, the main stack and, of course, Nardi uh, steering wheel with the knob logo. So engine-wise, the car runs a built HKS motor. It's a stroker kit and uh, aftermarket turbo, obviously. It's, it's probably got a lot of like development parts in there still, uh, which makes this car extremely special. It was used to kind of develop uh, S15 related uh, components by HKS. And since I have actually seen it last, it's running some uh, Yashio factory dress up goods here and there and Garage Defend carbon uh, radiator shroud and it's uh, it's running pretty much the best setup you could probably have on an S15 for street use. Uh, we're gonna take it around the Toge course to kind of get a feel for it. I'm not gonna push it hard of course this is not my car I just want to have you know the ability to kind of understand what went into it and the feel of the car.
every day you get thrown the keys to one of the most legendary cars to come out of Japan. You know, I, I didn't exaggerate uh, around the Toga course. I was kind of scared not to damage the car. And basically, you know, it's, it's already a sold car that Andy has to ship to his client. So I did take it very easy. That said, however, you know, it was obvious that the engine was very special. Like many of Nob's cars, they are kind of like collaboration slash prototypes that HKS developed together with him. So they uh, usually run kind of like high-end components. And you could really tell this engine was very responsive. Uh, power is probably uh, around the 400 uh, horsepower power mark however the torque curve just uh, instantly kicks in as you can see uh, you know as soon as I get on the throttle the car just literally accelerates away and starts spinning tires and gets sideways so an immense amount of power perfectly set up for drifting and uh, a ton of fun so as you probably noticed the car sits really low it's kind of like a stancy show setup at the moment so it's very uh, aggressive uh, the Advan T6s are actually 19s and they have pretty aggressive offsets and the car sits really low so there was a lot of rubbing as I was driving around the Toge course and that's also a reason I didn't really push too too much. Um, I just wanted to get a feel for it and kind of be able to say that you know I drove Nob's old S15. You can tell that it's very progressive in the way that it slides and it's something that you know Nob has definitely kind of worked uh, with HKS on, on that. Uh, one thing that I really uh, appreciated while driving the car was the actual interior. It's so well appointed uh, with all the Brit uh, fabric and seats. It's just, it's a very nice cabin to be in. It's not aged at all. It's still very modern in the way that it's laid out and it just feels like a really great place uh, to be in. So like I was mentioning before, I featured this car initially for magazines in the early 2000s. So I think I probably shot this car in 2005 or four. And then once Speedhunters came around, I had the chance to reshoot the car and you know, kind of rerun the feature. Of course, the, the car, the engine had been upgraded by then. And it's good to see that you know, it's, it's still in its original state. It hasn't been meddled with. I mean, obviously the vertical, uh, the gold wing doors, have been removed but it's just amazing to see kind of these legendary JDM cars kind of being kept and now looked after by people to really appreciate them you know it, it kind of keeps that history going into the future and hopefully it becomes a car that people can kind of lust over or learn about in the future I hope you enjoyed seeing this uh, very legendary drift car in, in a bit more detail and I feel very fortunate to having had the possibility to get behind the wheel. I mean, I wouldn't consider uh, you know, having tested it, but a little drive around Toga course was enough to kind of understand how special cars like this really are. So big thumbs up to Andy from Power Vehicles for allowing me to you know, get this car out today on the Toga course. And of course, JDM Supreme, the owner of the car. I hope you enjoy this car in the States and uh, I'm sure it'll make an amazing addition to your already pretty cool collection. Mm -hmm.